Hello guys and welcome back to some more Divide at Impera. And today I will make a series called the Divide at Impera Fashion Guide. And in this series, I will try to give you analyze of the some of the fashion in this mod, their strength and uh, weakness their starting uh, location their potential enemy and allies and their strategy in battle and their, their, their unit and uh, probably a few um, a few moves at the start of the campaign so you uh, can have an idea of how to start the campaign with some of the fashion in uh, in this mod. Okay, so now to start this series, I will go with one of the very interesting faction in this mod. That is the Macedon. Um, the Macedon, they are in. Uh, the successful kingdom um, control groups and they have that trait the control group trait is Alexander legacy which decreased 20% resistance to forage occupation kind of useful and uh, plus 10% morale for all unit during battles against Hellenic fashion Okay, so that means we are stronger when uh, fighting Hellenic faction, and uh, the Hellenic faction will be our first enemy, first and main enemy in our campaign. As for the Macedonia um, faction trade, they have this increased morale against barbarians and increased industrial income all right so more morale again barbarian very useful also increase industrial income which means we will focus on industrial for our economy and also we have minor diplomatic penalty with all Hellenic faction so this faction trade will affect greatly of how we will play the campaign uh, how we pick ally and enemy yeah now we will move into actual campaign map to see um, to see uh, what exactly the Macedonia have in game now just let's go All right, so here we are. First, we we'll talk about the Macedonia strength and weakness. Um, the Macedonia strength. The first is they have very strong military. The Macedon, they have very strong units, strong militaries, with very strong infantry. The pikemen. The pikeman is the strongest infantry in the game, um, and uh, the Macedon they have brought you pikeman from the start of the campaign. The the pikeman they can win well versus every single uh, melee infantry unit in frontal assault, and. They are very tough infantry unit and as Macedonia you will have very strong cavalry too light shock, light shock cavalry and heavy shock cavalry um, later in the game but your uh, sorry silencer is very useful in the early game they have high speed high sharpness high weapon damage and they also have 
very neat bonus versus the infantry and also bonus versus cavalry. Um, of course, they have the weakness of low armor, but their speed is more than enough to make up for the, their low armor. As for missile unit, you have um, regular slinger, but you can always recruit um, better slinger and archers in uh, Hellas with uh, the mercenary Rodeo Slinger and mercenary Creator Archer and they are also very strong also you will have the um, this spell task the um, if free criterion spell task they are very tough unit with look at this melee defense very strong and they actually have very long spear which means they are very good versus cavalry if they are bracing they can kill cavalry um, when cavalry charge this do then they are very useful right at the start you have a barrack so basically you can you have the ability to recruit um, all of the unit you need at right at the start of the game so that give you a very big advantage the, um, the second strength of the Macedonia is that they have the um, and unique general bodyguard the general bodyguard of the Macedon they have the double amount of men um, compared to the other faction general bodyguard like this cavalry have 200 men um, instead of 100 and this general bodyguard is also very very strong unit Nice, look at this. 7 speed, huge melee attack, high charmonet, high weapon damage, and very high armor. Wow, look at this. They are very strong, very tough unit, and they have a lot of men in their unit. So, with uh, a few general recruits right at the start of the game, you can have a um, like a very strong cavalry cavalry force right at the start of the game with your general bodyguard and uh, lastly the last strength of the Macedon is actually their starting location um, their starting location here. They're surrounded by enemy. It's just it looks like this, but uh, if we take a closer, closer look at this area, we uh, just have a bunch of barbarian and and Greek to fight. And uh, actually, our um the Macedon unit, the pikemen, they are very strong against uh, the Greek army and the barbarian army. It's like the Greek, they mainly just have hope light and hope light cannot win versus pikemen. Also the Greek, they don't have good cavalry and with our superior cavalry and uh, pikemen we can just easily win battle versus the uh, greek and also the barbarian so um this our if we have to fight the the other successful kingdom it will be much more difficult to win battle like we fight battle with this 
barbarian with the Tracian and the Grace. So, um, start in the middle of the peninsula like this. Uh, start in the middle of the map like this. Also, enable us to just expand where we want. Like we can just conquer all the great, and after that we can just you know, expand wherever we want. This is a great starting location. Also, Palace has the Palace Palace City is a, a very defensive location. If we decide to um, move, if we decide to move to the the west. It can the the our city can block all the attack from the east like this. Let's see. And if we decide to go east, our city will block all the attack, uh, all the other enemy in the west. This is a very strong choke point. Our old city is a very strong choke point, and we if we utilize it. We uh, can have a very defensive look, defensive position here. All right. So I think it's one of the Macedon strength that their starting location is. Now, let's talk about their weakness. So uh, their starting location is one of their strength, but it's also one of their weakness. That is the starting location. They are surrounded by enemy. All of this faction has really bad relation with Macedon. And they will likely to just declare war on Macedon very soon in the game. And what uh, make it worse that in uh, Divide Empera, if you are being declared war by many faction, it became like a snowball effect, and it just make other faction uh, more likely to declare war on you because they will think the AI would think that you are weak, and they would think that you are a um, an easy target. So they will just randomly declare war on you, <laughs> um, so the result is you might end up with a lot of enemy, like all over the place. But uh, don't worry, it can be menace. One other weakness of the Macedon is their economy. The economy at the start of the campaign is very weak with just one um, settlement. With just one settlement, we will still have to keep this um, barrack to be able to recruit our unit, of course, and we still need food. So we cannot build anything that put our economy at the start of the campaign. Um, but it's just the start. Later, when we um, take more territories, our economy will be much better. But just in the start, it's not good. Not as good as uh, the other faction who start with um, multiple settlement uh, in the start of the campaign. Okay. So that's the strength and weakness of the Macedon. Now, well, let's talk about the potential enemy and ally of the Macedon. Here. So as we know, the Macedon faction trade give uh, 
diplomacy uh, penalty with all the Greek faction, with all the Hellenic faction, which means this Sparta, Athens, um, Rhodes, and Gnosis will be our enemy. They will be our enemy. Um, there's it's like it is very difficult to actually make this Hellenic faction become our ally or they will just declare warness like for sure it's just a matter of time before this do declare warness and also the the tracks yeah they will probably declare warness uh, very soon even the tribally they seem to have good relationship with us Welcome but it's actually not they probably will attack it at some point in the game even the RDA they will attack us too so it's defend it's, it's really depend there is still a high chance that also the RDA will attack us like hmm, in some of my campaign with Macedon even when I have non erasing pikes and trade agreement with uh, RDA they even break all this treaty to declare war on me so they are not really a reliable ally so who will be our ally first is we will likely to be at war with both Athens and Sparta and Egypt is ally of Sparta and Athens they like each other so we will probably have to go to war with Egypt too we in turn make the Seleucid lighter because Seleucid and Egypt will always fight each other and that makes Seleucid mm, one of our potential allies one of our potential ally and very valuable trade partner one more valuable ally is actually Rome because here you can see we start right next to Epirus and uh, Apollonia is one settlement in our starting province and we always want to complete our starting province for a stronger economy center and that make the appearance one of our target so if we declare war on the appearance we can have diplomacy uh, we can have better relation with Rome and uh, we can actually be friend and make Rome one of our ally they will be a very very valuable ally just two two ally we can have and um, the, the trace with the Thracia over here they are also likely to declare war and fight each other so uh, if we want to we can join war with uh, some of them and befriend the other but I don't think it's a good idea to do that because um, because as Macedonia I really like to uh, take this province this, take this great province and we can turn this province into food production province or um, this province also have 
a few resources and it will be very good for income too. And also it is a very defensive uh, it has a very defensive location this trace proving very good to take. So uh, yeah. I will just try to be friend the Seleucid and Rome and possibly Bithynia and Pergamon and Lydia. Some of these two. That's all. See this our potential enemy and ally. So next we will move into the strategy in battle and uh, of the first few moves you should make as Macedon in the very early game. So as we said before, we want to be able to make friends with Seleucid and Rome and uh, to be able to do that we will need to be declare war on on the Epirus and rushing Apollonia is actually a very good idea in the game because the Epirus main army led by pirates is busy fighting the Roman over here in Taras and they will not be able to go back here to defend Apollonia so it's the perfect opportunity for us to just rush our army right here and attack and take Apollonia. Um, Larissa is actually closer to Pella, but taking Larissa is not optimal in this strategy because uh, if we take Larissa, Athen and Sparta. Hmm. We'll probably declare winners right away. Like they always do that in many of my campaign. So if we take Larissa very quickly, we will have to fight the Artan and Sparta here, and that will make it. It will delay the taking of Apollonia and uh, in the worst case Roman can take Apollonia before we can do it and uh, in this situation we will not have any diplomacy boost with Rome and they have a settlement in our territories this would be very very bad and in the worst case we will have to fight Rome and fight Rome with all these other enemy surrounding us like this is really not a good idea um, <laughs> yeah you know what I mean <laughs> so uh, my so our first move should be Rush over here and attack Apollonia right away with my starting with our starting army. Of course, we will try to recruit a few more units uh, over here. We should have a few more pikemen, the bread and butter of our uh, army, and uh, over here. We should. This one is good. Local, heretic, noble. And uh, this one is actually usable to Clonius and uh, the Mamedus. We can take. We can take this character out as general and bring them with us. To have a few more very strong cavalry unit. Yeah. 
Place this one, two. Here, like this. So, just like this, we already have three very strong units of cavalry. Which means we don't need, uh, we really don't need any more cavalry. Yeah. Of course, we will try to hire some of mercenary too. As we have already have pikeman, we don't really need to use any hoplite like at all. And uh, over here in these territories, in my opinion, the strongest um, mercenary we can get here is actually the Agrianian Southward. They are a very strong axe unit. Look at that. Look at this. Very high charge bonus. Very high weapon damage. With very very good melee armor penetration damage. And very good bonus versus infantry. This guy are very strong. He it they can they can beat they can beat the principes easily in frontal assault. <laughs> Very easily. Principes will not stand a chance against these two. And uh, they will be very, very, very strong against armored unit. Against the hoplite of the Greek and also against the pikeman of the uh, Epirus very valuable mercenary unit as for the building um, we can upgrade this but it's not necessary like uh, with just uh, level 1 worry we can already recruit all these uh, necessary unit all of the unit we need can be recruited from this uh, level 1 barrack so we can wait to upgrade the uh, our barrack later just really this uh, elite unit is good they're strong but they're not necessary unnecessary we just need our pikeman our light cavalry and uh, some of these other um, support unit like this Paltast and uh, Slinger and uh, Tourist uh, Spearman that's all we need in our army that's all we need in our army of course but we will have to upgrade our main settlement building like this is Mm, upgrading this building will uh, will boost our economy by a lot yeah of course the first few turn is very important like right now when we end our turn there will be someone declare war on us like <laughs> yeah is Macedonia life? Let's see. Okay, what a surprise. No one declared war on us. That's really, really <laughs> unlikely, but it happened. So, we cannot reach Apollonia in this turn. We will stop here and uh, recruit some more unit. I'll take one more Pikeman. And... Uh, 
one slinger. We need a few. Uh, even though this slinger is not very good, we still need some of these two, because they are very good against um, cavalry, and uh, they can be used to provoke the enemy to attacking us. They are our um, skirmish unit and try to recruit more mercenary like this one of course and we take a look around to see what happened here the tribal is is at war with this one this one still have does have any war going on Good and noble friend. We try to make uh, a few trade or something, but Greetings. it's not gonna be happening. Because to make friend, we have to be at war with their enemy. Like if we want to make friend with Rome, we should attack Rome enemy like the Epirus and actually attacking the appearance actively so we would gain a lot of relationship with uh, with Rome doing doing things like this so if uh, if you want to to be friend with a tribally you uh, should probably declare war on the Tolisto Boki right now so um, after doing that, you can uh, actually have some Welcome some treaty with tribally. But it's, I'm I not recommend to do that because after dealing with all of these two, I will probably go back here and attack the tribalists anyway. So I will not get any treaty with the tribally. We will just end him. It's okay if we just use all this gold in the early game. Mm, right? It's really okay. And turn. Okay, now we can uh, attack. We can attack the Epirus here. I uh, I am playing on legendary difficulty, so, so this is why this guy already has this many unit. If you are playing uh, with the uh, lower difficulty, then uh, this army. Like if you playing on normal difficulty, this guy should have only like four unit, four or five unit maximum. On legendary, they can recruit a lot <laughs> in one turn. It's not really a problem though. Like uh, we still attack them right away. Declare war. Declaring war first, like this, and we will try to invite some of this faction around to join war with us, like this. Maybe there will be a chance as they accept, uh, and it give us a uh, diplomacy boost. By the God. Uh -huh. For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship to come. All right, but it's sometimes it will not work. That has been and friendship. We just try, try everything we can. 
I'll take it. Okay. Also bring my general here. Alright. So over here. As you can see. The APS. They have many units in this settlement. But what we really care here is just these two pikemen, these three pikemen, these two cavalry. That's all. Every other unit can be very easily to deal with with our pike and uh, cavalry. Like this militia hoplite. <laughs> I know much for uh, our pikemen. They cannot do anything to our pikemen. Even this, this archer can be really easy to deal with. All of these fleet archers can be very easy to deal with. What we really care about are only these three pikemen, their pikemen, and this cavalry. Once we can get rid of these one, two, three, four, five unit, we won the battle. Now let's head into the battle and see how we fight at the Macedon. Alright, try. Let's start. Okay. So, here, the strength of Macedon army, the pikemen. Here they are. Very strong infantry unit. And the pikemen, they are strong frontally. And they are actually very vulnerable in the flank and rear. So using the pikemen, you will want to make an undisrupted line like this to face the enemy in front and also. And in some case, you can make it. You can use an around safe, around shape formation like this to uh, to um, prevent prevent the enemy from flank flanking you like. Adjust the pike man like this in a defensive look defensive uh, defensive formation like this. Okay. As long as as long as this pike man don't expose their flank or rear to the enemy, they can beat just anyone. But keep in mind that the pikemen they are a defensive unit so uh, don't count on them to kill uh, every enemy for you you will need to use this assault infantry like this one like this iceman to flank 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 and rear charge into the enemy who are held back by your pikemen. Melee assault infantry. This infantry can also be used to protect to further protect the flying um flank and rear. Like this. Yeah. We will place this guy in behind like this. This guy are our mm, uh, skirmish skirmisher with this peltas and slinger. These peltas they have long spear, and when they racing, they can defeat cavalry in frontal charge. So you can make a light 
of the stew like this even turn on fire well to protect your uh, slinger from car recharge so this dude is actually very very useful I really like this unit yeah and uh, oh, <laughs> general bodyguard this guy are uh, this guy is a very strong cavalry unit with a lot of men in their unit too good now let's see how we actually do the battle let's go here enemy reinforcements approaching um look like they will they will move out of the salmon to fight us that's fine They can stay or they can whatever. Here we will try to get rid of this uh cavalry unit first. There's this screen with the with our pentas. Right like this. And look at this. These two have long spear. Our hidden units have been discovered. All right, they can throw javelin to disrupt this guy charge. And look at this. We can win with this peltas versus cavalry charge. If they pull out, throw javelin. Like this. See? It's very devastating. Pikeman. Now let's pull them back here. Also use our missile cavalry to attack this heavy calf. Look at that. Like the uh, Our hidden units have been discovered. Yeah, try to harass this dude with our cavalry. Shot this guy. Shot him. Oh. We need to stay in fight formation. Yeah. Like this. All right. Take out this cavalry for me. That's good. All right. Our pike man will just stay here. Why we would try to take out take out this enemy missile unit. Okay. This guy will not do anything to us. Our general is under attack. Will not do anything to us. Here we can use this assault infantry too. And here the powers of the Macedonia General Bodyguard. Powerful charge. Powerful charge. We will destroy any enemy. Here, like this too. And over here too.
very powerful charge. Like this. Yeah. And they are very tanky too. That's why they are so strong. Turn back. For more charge. Charge. Take out this um missile unit without covering. Charge. Okay. Absolutely destroys this dude. Um, like, we still hasn't used uh, our axe infantry yet. Charge brings this cavalry here. All right, Charles. Okay. We can start using our ice too. Charles is archer for me. Here. Bring our X men to the flying and attack. Right. All these dudes are no much for the might of our cavalry. Get over here. Kill all of these archer. Charles. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get here. And attack this guy. Okay, shot this dude. Charge. Oh. That's devastating charge. And even the enemy general bodyguard. Would be no much for us. Charles is due. Fix our line a little bit. Cool. Charles is archer. Hmm, look like we need to get away a little bit here. Okay. Pop this ability. Don't worry. We still got this. Charge is due. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Proud sons of Macadon. Oh. They vastly charge here. Yeah, seize. The number of advantages can be easily overcome by the qualities of our army. Charges do, charges. Get over here. Okay. Take out this dude. Take out this dude. Once we can bring our Pike Man here, we can actually withdraw our Ice Man. And this charge, charge. Uh, fix our line a little bit here. Oh, all right. Okay. Charge. Actually, we can use our Javel a little bit here. Charge. 
These two are oh pike mad. Charge. Here. Attack, attack. This melee infantry will be no match for a pike man. Okay. Good. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right. Charge. We should bring this infantry to support our general. Cause this is legendary. <laughs> and uh, I'm a little this okay turn around I take this dude the enemy general is cool enemy general is dead now we can charge and take out this dude easily. Right. <laughs> look at this. Uh, look at our pike man. They are very strong. Very strong. Oh, one last trust. Iceman. Okay. We can do much better than this, but I'm just a little. Mm, I'm careful. We should be able to do much better than this. With our superior pike and cavalry unit. Okay. Charge, charge. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, we really should be able to do much better than this. Take a lot of custody on this general bodyguard. Um, yeah, but it's no big deal. I mean, uh, we can do this battle much better than this. I am being very uncareful as a battle. We really should micro our cavalry um, much better than this. To yeah, we can avoid. A lot of custody on this cavalry if we are more careful. But as you can see, the pike men, they are so strong. Even in the highest difficulty like this, they can hold their own very well against all of these enemy, all this enemy throwing at us. Even this peltas is also very strong. Normally. 
a missile unit cannot stand against the enemy cavalry charge. But this guy, they have long spear and <laughs> cavalry charge as this guy breaks in. It's actually suicidal. They're so good. Okay. Hmm, okay. So you can see numbers is doesn't mean anything. That's the quality of troops is what we want to have. Like this guy can have far greater numbers than our army. But we can win very easily. Very very easily. With just a limited number of our unit. It's just how we use our unit in the battle is more important than how many units we have in the battle. Yeah. And uh, here, since we will need a lot of gold in the early game, so it's better to loot the salmon for um, quick gold in the beginning of the game. Mm, right. So here you can see that Apirus is very quick now and they will be busy fighting Rome here and they will not be able to they will not be able to to go back to attack us. Yep. We uh Keep the war with the APS for a few more turns, then probably, like, it's very likely that we can get some treaty with Rome and uh, even Carthage. And it will be very good for us to have treaty with these two. From here, um, our next move can be. We can march here and attack the RDA, but I will not take this settlement. I will liberate it, liberate it to have one buffer state here, so we don't have to worry about our north region. And after liberate the um, RDA here, we will start moving down south and take Larissa attack and taking out the Arten the Sparta the north south over here and probably road so uh, at this time we will have two full provinces um, Macedonia and Hellas both these provinces are very wealthy and it's a very strong base we can start building up our army to uh, start building up our economy and military to expand wherever we want and um, fighting the Greek here actually very easy as Macedon because they only have they only have hope lives and with our pikeman, axeman, and superior cavalry, the hoplite of the Greek cannot do anything to us. <laughs> like they are completely outclassed by our pikeman. Fighting these two will be very easy. Even if we are being attacked by the Thracia over here. We can just keep a small, very small, very small army in uh, Pella. Like with just a few units of pikemen, we can defend our city very, very easily. Pikemen are also very strong in city defense. Yep, just 
um, one zero and maybe two or three unit of pipe then we can defend palace like forever they cannot do anything to our city so don't be afraid if this guy just randomly declare war on you just let them go and attack and we will defend all their attack with ease it's not a big deal we can just keep our main army moving around here taking territories and uh, consolidate our starting position conquers all the Greeks as for the army composition here I will probably want to have five pikemen this is five pikemen um two more X-Men can be very useful I will try to have two of these um, Peltas two Slinger yeah a few more like melee infantry like this should be X-Men um, and the rest will be cavalry. The strength of Macedonia is cavalry. I really want to use a lot of calf. Since fighting this is great, all we need to do is take out the cavalry and uh, probably missile unit. Once we once we can uh, take out their missile and cavalry, uh, we win. The hope like cannot do anything to us. Like they cannot even kill like one of these pikemen if we doing it right. Yeah. Okay, so this will be our first faction guy uh, covering uh, the Macedonia. One of the very interesting faction in the game. And if you want to know anything else about the Macedon, you can leave a comment below so I can answer that to you. And I hope the this series will be helpful for you. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in uh, my future episode. Thank you very much.